My name is Ian Finn, and I'm the owner and sole proprietor of Finnovation Product Development located in Rochester, New York. So Finnovation offers full product development services. You can hand us a napkin with your idea sketched out on it, and we'll deliver you a prototype. Uh, we do that using uh, CAD software and also specialize in rapid prototyping using 3D printing. As I mentioned, I'm a sole proprietor. Um, I kind of like to keep it that way because uh, it's a lot leaner and I can also uh, you know, know where every, every project is at every time. Um, and that, that kind of specialty and accountability is what a lot of manufacturers look for. Uh, you know, they have questions about their parts. They want to know exactly where it is. And you can call me 24-7. I work seven days a week and pretty much just get these parts cranked out. There really is no typical project of Finnovation. Uh, we basically will work with anybody to help develop their product ideas and help them get them to market and develop a manufacturing plan. Uh, every day I really have no idea what's going to come in. It can be something like this, which is more um, you know, movie, sci-fi set oriented. Uh, this is Ed 209 from the movie Robocop. Um, or it can be something like this here that is uh, you know, aimed for a medical industries. This is a, a model of a pelvis that's going to be used. Um, you know, in uh, medical institutions for, for educational purposes. So the, it spans pretty pretty wide, and uh, like I said, every day just brings new new products, new projects. The thing that I like most about 3D printing is the empowerment that it gives people. Uh, you don't have to have a huge R&D budget and millions of dollars to get your product to market. Uh, 3D printing really does allow the United States to have a foothold again in manufacturing where a lot of those manufacturing jobs are coming back to the United States. So that's huge, and, and that's really one of the best uh, aspects of 3D printing is, is the empowerment that it gives the individuals, but it also empowers the United States to kind of get its you know, feet back in the ring of global manufacturing. Now let's go take a look at some of the machines in the shop. And this is the 3D Systems S-Pro 60. This is a selective laser sintering machine. And this guy is pretty much meant for high production, um, just cranking out parts. Yes, Pro's, uh, like I said, it's an industrial grade printer and it's used by General Motors to print out intake manifolds for cars, amongst many other things. Um, Burton Snowboards prints out bindings and goes snowboarding with them. And uh, Boeing uses these things pretty much exclusively and even has the designs uh, and plans to print a jet engine mostly out of 3D printed parts. So that is the, the big boy 3D printer. So right now we're going to take the parts out of the machine in what's called the cake. So we're going to, they're actually in here, we're going to lift this whole thing up and you'll see it come up to about there. That's where all the parts are. So this here's the part cake, and this is uh, this is actually what you break the parts out of. Um, previously, you saw a video of the cake actually coming out of the machine, and we bring it to the breakout station. And what you do here is you basically just uh, excavate the cake, just like you would uh, dig up dinosaur bones or something like that. So I'll show you how that's done. So this is one of the parts that you saw getting broken out of the cake. Uh, this is a car body for a 1962 Ferrari. Um, really nice model. Uh, the stuff's made out of nylon, it's really durable. And really, really is just a nice part. Uh, this is made for a local manufacturer actually here in Rochester that specializes in highly detailed uh, models of vintage cars. These are 3D printed lattice structures. Um, they're basically just meant to represent a concept of design where instead of having solid parts, you replace them with a matrix uh, such as these that will allow you to uh, reduce the weight of the part but also very specifically 
decide where it, uh, its strength is. So these particular parts are very durable this way, but have flex on this plane. Um, I can actually stand on these. This small one weighs about 12 grams, and the bigger ones weigh about 18 to 20 grams. Uh, I weigh about 180 pounds, and these things can support me no problem. But they're very interesting. They bounce around uh, huge in the aerospace industry. This particular one is based off of the, uh, uh, a carbon molecule, and this basically has rigidity in all directions. It's just an extremely strong model. Um, and then these two are based off of a bone structure, the same logarithms that your body uses to uh, reinforce bone throughout its life. Very fascinating. It's directly aimed at 3D printing. It's from a company called Within. And uh, their software is going to revolutionize 3D printing the way that uh, 3D printing has revolutionized manufacturing. So I look forward to working more with this material and this concept. And finally, for a little bit of fun, I figured I'd show you guys a uh, little stress test I like to do. I've been working on Ed 209 here. Um, you saw him on the screen earlier. One of these stars from RoboCop, one of my favorite movies. Anyway, I took his guns off. He's a little dangerous. If you saw the movie, he's a little unpredictable. But he's got new armor, and basically what I want to do now is test out the armor, um, just to make sure that he can take a pretty good beating. 